Okay. Ready? Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, what's up guys? Top of the week. Monday. 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 Wala pa rin nangyayari sa mundo ng basketball. Oh, okay. Third week of January na. Yeah, third oh, week of January. Third week of January. And still no nothing. But! Meron tayong bagong pakana dito sa community natin and for all the people na na part of the na community, we'd like to thank you for all the support and all that. Um, para sa mga wala pa, please join the community on Facebook. That's the Shoot First Community. Sobrang dami ng tao. Dami, wild. Kasi nag-invite din sila eh. Oo nga. So I think Japs, Coach Japs was invited. Um, Francis Aliero was invited. Wow! Coach, Francis, oh, Francis Aliero is there. Um, si Coach Putit is there. Uh, along with Ola, Fran, USJ, um, sino yung isa? Maverick Ahanmisi. Maverick Ahanmisi. To the people na nandun, please join kayo and enjoy tayo doon. Um, tapos, since it's the pandemic, alam naman natin to, I think both of us are, ano, are I think everybody is a, vic- was a victim of the pandemic, obviously, diba? especially yeah. career-wise. So everybody started you know, putting up businesses. Diba? As small or as big as the business is, it's, kumbaga, admirable na humarap ka ng paraan. Hindi naman pwedeng, ba? Diba? At at some point kasi nung umpisa nung pandemic, brother, parang ano yun, no? parang inihintay mo lang matapos. Oo. Tapos at okay. some point, kailangan, okay, mukhang hindi, kailangan ko na dumiskarte, ba? Diba? So, Um, so, sa lahat ng small businesses na sinimula na nasa community ngayon, we would love to support you guys. Uh, usually, pag may mga sponsorship, alam nyo naman yan, di ba? Medyo maglalabas ka ng pera and all that. But, um, for now, since pandemic ulit, we would love to support. So, ano ba yung ano natin? Mechanics. Natin? Moira, <coughs> Moira yung Bates. Hindi mechan- yung mechanics muna. Ay, mechanics Moira. natin. Alright, so... Um... So every recording day will be picking one business that we will promote at the start of the episode. Um kakaroon ng giveaway yung business or yung brand and then there will be a question uh, about each episode that will be posted in the community after the episode is uploaded on Spotify. Yeah. Tapos the business or the brand has the liberty to choose how many winners they want to have for the giveaway. Winners will be determined via first come first serve basis. Yeah. Then so, whoever is able to answer the question correctly first will be chosen as winner. Then so on so forth. Kung maraming winners ang piliin ng brand. Oh, chaka ano to? Kung baga, everybody will benefit from this. Obviously, oh yeah, definitely. The small business, kahit pa paano, hindi naman tayo sobrang malaki yung clout sa Pilipinas. But at least, di ba dun sa current community natin, which is like what two three na. 2,300 members, Sheesh. a chance to expose the business and so mga nakikinig sa podcast. And also, um, for the community, syempre, giveaway. Yeah. And also, may mga, ano eh, may mga great finds, eh, lalo na sa mga local businesses. Yes, parang, may mga okay. gems. Oh, may mga gems dyan na lilitaw dyan. And I'm excited. And also, to the brands, syempre, padala naman kayo. Para naman yung, ano namin, yung pag-endorse, o yung pag-advertise namin, hindi naman cooking lang, na parang, uy, okay dito, pero hindi naman talaga namin experience or whatever. So, for today, si Javi, guys, yung nag ng lahat ng to. And I believe you fixed this one. Yes, sir. Nakakataba naman to. Oo oh, nga, nagulit ako, sobrang dami. <laughs> so, ano ba to? So, okay. Um, for today's episode, Moira Bakes, Uh, we, we picked Moira Bakes for this episode. Thank you so much, Moira Bakes. Oh, so, nagdala pa. sila uh, ano ba Blueberry. Blue, okay, wait lang. May ano muna tayo. Meron silang pinadalang letter. So, they just they just kind of explained. Si Moira, obviously, Moira yung pangalan ng owner and founder. So, nung lockdown daw, may story siya dito. So, nung lockdown daw, actually, graduate na siya ng UST. So, nung lockdown, medyo bored and all that, nag-start lang siya mag-bake daw ng random goodies for family and friends. Tapos, sinabi sa kanya na, why don't you start your own business? So, ngayon, it's kind of, you know, doing good naman daw. It's doing good. Uh, it's, it, it, it's gained traction throughout the whole pandemic. Please follow Moira.Bakes on Facebook and at Moira.Bakes on Instagram. Yep. Okay? So, ano to? Mga dessert, ganon. Dessert. Uh-huh. Mga merienda. So, Oh, nga, medyo malaki nga yung pinadala nila. So quickly lang, pakita natin yung pinadala. Meron silang Tonto Asiki. 
Ito, ang dami bro eh. Tsaka, ano to? Uh, so, looks good. May blueberry, blueberry cake. Che- blueberry cheesecake. cheesecake to. Okay. Blueberry cheesecake. And then this is like chocolate, no? Yeah. Classic chocolate cake. Classic chocolate. And may cookies. Okay. So, yeah. mga cookies din. Solid man. Ang dami. Um, nakakasira lang kayo ng diet, Moira. <laughs> pero thank you very much. So, to the people in the community, please follow Moira Bakes. First sponsor natin yan for our first episode yes, this week. Uh, again, Facebook, Moira.Bakes and at Moira.Bakes on Instagram. Thank you very much, Moira and the whole Moira Bakes uh, yep. team. Ano yung giveaway nila? May giveaway ba sila? Yes, they will have a giveaway. They will actually send the same set that we got okay. dun sa mga winners. So we will they will pick two winners for this giveaway and then kailangan niyo rin i-follow yung IG and Facebook pages nila for you okay. guys to be picked. Uh verify daw nila kung kung uh, follow oh, niyo. Oh, so hopefully sa mga lahat ng nasa community ngayon, please follow moira.bakes and watch out for their giveaway para matikman niyo yung mukhang masarap siya talaga. Yep. Medyo we'll be announcing the winners tomorrow, guys. Makakasira lang ng diet to. But thank you very much. <laughs> and again, this will go on for the next few weeks. We don't know till when, pero as much as possible sa lahat ng mga businesses, susubukan natin tulungan. It'll be shorter, of course, next time. Ngayon, medyo mas mahaba lang kasi in-introduce namin yung bagong pakana sa community. So, thank you very much, Moira Bakes. And I'm excited to try these out uh, as soon as possible. Okay, back to basketball. All right. Eh, since wala naman nangyayari ngayon, Mikey and I decided na medyo mag-culture side naman tayo culture ng basketball. Culture side tayo. Meron ba tayong updates muna? Um, we have a few. Uh, Sige. Si Prince Caperal, who's also becoming a free agent in a few weeks ata. Basta okay. hindi siya pareho nung ibang batchmates niya sa 2014 na December 31 yung expiration ng contract. Pero malapit na rin mag-expire yung contract niya. But Hinebra is already in talks with him for him to renegotiate a new contract. Obviously, they want him back uh, dun sa Hinebra. And still big piece. I mean, most improved player last last season yan. So, talagang uh, gusto ng Hinebra mapapalik si Prince Caperal sa kanila. Oo naman. Tsaka stretch 5 eh. Yep. So, it's big to have a stretch 5. Parang Poy Eram. Mm-hmm. You know, it's big to have someone like that na can really mix it up down low and also score from the outside. So, big factor si Prince Caperal especially sa bubble championship nila. Oh, yeah, so, definitely. malamang hindi papakawala ng Hinebra yan. Alright. Alright. And next up, um, si... Phil Basket has now decided that it will now turn pro after Gab declared yung Subic Bubble unlawful. So nag-orders, nag-issue sila ng cease and desist order. Tapos after that, um, Phil Basket has decided na it will comply. Magiging pro na sila. So yung next na season nila will now be uh, will now be professional. Okay, so ano, um, hindi naman, kumbaga, pag nag-pro sila, okay na ulit sila. Yeah. So bawal lang sila mag-tournament ulit and kung hindi sila pro. Yes. Ah, okay. Eh plano naman talaga ni Jay na mag-pro eh. Sinabi naman na oh, even yun before the, plan. Yeah, that was really the plan. Even before the uh, bubble started dun sa Subic. Sinabi naman niya na iisa lang silang amateur tapos after that they're going to go pro. So now, technically wala lang problema. Wala na. Ah, so bawal lang sila if hindi sila mag-pro. So nakalusot yes. na sila dun sa una. Oo. Oh. Ah, okay. But Kasi still, they even now that uh, naayos na, they still stand by yung sinabi nila nung for the Subic Bubble amateur. that it was an amateur tournament yeah. because allowances lang daw ang binigay, hindi salaries. Because well, it was just a month-long tournament. Yung I, I, I'm, I'm not really uh, to pre, uh, to maalam dun sa kung ano, kung ano talaga yung what counts as a salary or what counts allowances yeah. sabi niya kasi it's the say it's not different daw than what the colleges in the UAP and the NCAA are uh, giving to their players yeah i mean whether it be an ala- considered allowance or sweldo subjective kasi yun eh. exactly yung allowance sa normal na tao pwedeng sweldo ay yeah, yung sweldo sa normal na tao pwedeng allowance yung sa mayaman eh oh. you get what i'm saying yung yung exactly. yung allowance kay Jun Marfardo <laughs> baka yung 100,000 allowance sa kanya yun parang ano lang sa kanya yun food allowance lang niya yun ganun pero sa atin mga normal na tao buta sa LDO 160 digits yun eh. so it really depends sa tao naman subjective yun eh but you know if the founder and the commissioner says that, we'll just have to respect that so kung allowances talaga yung pinamigay nila nung time na yun um, yun kanya-kanya naman yan eh so at least now it's good to know that 
that that's all behind them. I believe. Yep. Kung yun ang nakalagay is uh, as long as they go pro, pwede na sila. Eh, yun naman talaga yung plano ni Jai. So I don't think it really was, it's it's not any different from kung ano ba talagang gusto nila mangyari. And also, I want Till Basket to push through kasi it oh, yeah. adds you know, another league. Diba? So yeah. Sobrang dami nating liga ngayon. MPBL, Till Basket, NBL, Bismint. Diba? Just a lot of avenues for players to Play. Meron pang Pilipinas Super Pilipina League. Pilipinas Super League pa na nandun yung Davao. But at the end of the day though, you need a... Kasi yung MPBL, San Juan, mm-hmm. Pasig, Bicol, lalo na yung Bicol, kasi Chooks to go. Bicol, yeah. and Pasilan. Yun yung apat, di ba? Yun yung big four, di ba? Meron pa dyan. Um, EOG, Burlington, okay. Burlington. But what I'm trying to say is, yung bumubuhay sa MPBL are those monster teams. Mm-hmm. Ang bubuhay sa Super League, uh, Davao. Davao. So ang far. Bu- Oo, oh, di ba? Ang bubuhay sa Bismin, yung mga locals nila from Bismin. Yep. Di ba? NBL, Pampanga Delta. <laughs> Phil Basket needs, it's like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, kailangan they need parang uh, a pillar. showcase team. Oh, yeah, kailangan nila ng pillar. Exactly. Kasi, okay, MPBL, erase nyo yung team sa binigay sa MPBL. Ang pillar na MPBL, Chooks to go. Tsaka Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, yun ang pillar nun. Hindi mabubuwag ang MPBL, hindi babagsak ang MPBL as long as nandun si Chooks to go as, as long as nandun si Senator Manny Pacquiao. Yung Super League, hindi mabubuwag yan hanggat nandun si Davao. Si Vismin, Hanggat nandun yung locals nila, yung mga Miss Orr, ganun ganun. I'm sorry, I'm not really a follower of Fismin. Yung NBL, yung Pampanga Delta, hanggat nandun yun, lalaban yun. So, Phil Basket needs its own pillar. So, That's right. it'll be fun to see kung sino yung mag- or anong sponsor yung magiging pillar nila or team ang magiging ano nila dun. But, at the end of the day, man, buti na lang din na naayos yung ano. As long as mag-pro naman sila. So, yeah. we're all good. Okay, meron pa ba? That's it, actually. Parang wala talaga, no? Wala talaga nangyayari, pari. <laughs> wala talaga. Yung NBA, guys, talagang paminsan-minsan we'll talk about it, paminsan-minsan hindi, but you know, it's tough to... Yeah. Um, so, pero parang so far, wala ba naman. Actually pala, meron si Zach Levine oh. went down with a knee injury nung game nila last hmm. week. But uh, nag-MRI uh, na siya and wala naman daw significant damage to his okay. knee. So, it's gonna be a minor injury lang daw. Si so, ano din? na lang. Si KD din. KD four to six weeks, I believe, out. Sprained Ooh. MCL. So, you know, injuries here and there. But as long as they're just minor and they'll be back by the playoffs at least, di ba? Matagal yeah. pa naman yung playoffs. Pero at least oh. si KD ngayon, four to six ata, alam ko. Damn, so, that's gonna be tough though. I mean, he's in the running for M- for MVP. So that's gonna affect his his run to the, to the award. That's true. But now that Zach is going to be out for a few weeks. DeMar DeRozan is going to have to ball out again. He has to, especially after those two tough losses oh. last week. Oh, parang yung, tough yung mga talo na yun na dapat parang isasimit na talaga nila na dapat they were really the team in the East yeah. when they went up against Golden State and Brooklyn. But, yeah. parang, but they lost both badly. That's true. So, you know, NBA news here and there. Please check your NBA accounts. Na, ano. Um, Here's the thing. Since wala talaga talagang basketball na nangyayari ngayon sa Pilipinas and it's tough, I want to go, we want to go medyo culture tayo. Um, I have two things that I want to talk about today. Uh, yung first is basketball movies or basketball shows. Mm-hmm. Diba? That we tend to watch or that we've watched that we, you know, kind of changed our perception. Or, di ba? Malaking mga may iconic movies. So I went on um, Google now. Meron ano dito? Merong uh, what do you call this? Uh, article of send ko sa ngayon. Article of top 20 best basketball movies ever Ooh. made by Esquire. Esquire ba to? Esquire. 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 Okay. Um, yung 20 na to, hindi na ko kanina. Hindi ko na panood lahat to. Actually hindi ko talaga oh. panood. So <laughs> Okay, hindi lahat. Uh, Guys, i-google nyo lang sa mga nakikinig ngayon or nanonood ng YouTube uh, sa, sa esquire.com to. 20 best <coughs> basketball movies of all time. Okay, let's run this down lang quickly. Celtic Pride. I have not watched this. 1996 comedy. <laughs> so, hindi ko napanood to. Hindi ko napanood to. Uh, 19 daw napanood natin. For sure. 
Yeah, like Mike definitely. Like, like Mike was <laughs> Bow wow. Lil Bow wow pa siya. It was oh, yeah. a vibe, bro. It was, it was a vibe. Yeah. What I liked about like Mike was they made it. I know yung Knights, hindi to tong NBA team, but they made yeah, but it. There were other teams. No, that, pare, that's the NBA. NBA teams. Bro. And actual NBA players. Yeah, may mga cameo yung mga players, di ba? Like Dirk was there, AI uh-huh. I believe was there, di ba? And it was It's not a serious movie, obviously. It's not a realistic yeah. movie. But especially during that time for 90s kids, sobrang ano to, vibe to that. Eh, diba? Sobra. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure a lot, most of the kids who were into basketball watched okay. this at that time. 90s, sobrang, no? Yeah, I mean, kasi di rin naman masya, yung basketball movies come and go lang naman yun. So every time there's a basketball movie that comes out, especially this one that's medyo relatable kasi nandyan si Lil Bow Wow. Oy. Ano to eh? Parang feel good. Oh, feel good. Sake. Feel good movie lang. Parang nod ka lang pag wala kang magawa, enjoy mo lang. But it's iconic because it's still, di ba? Ang daming yeah. cameo. Naka- Los day. Angeles Knights pala. So <laughs> oh, Los LA. Angeles Knights. Pero, like, pero kinalaban din nila yung LA Lakers dito. Diba? Oh, so, oh. Los I think Angeles. kababasin din si Kobe dyan eh, di ba? Kababasin si Kobe dito. Ang alam oh. ko, ang alam ko. I don't know exactly sino yung mga Steve Nash came out. Ito si Dirk yung nagpa- pero mas si Dirk sa kanya, di ba? So, <laughs> like Mike, for the young ones na hindi alam yung like Mike, you gotta watch Guys, panoorin this. nyo. Sobrang panoorin feel nyo. good lang to. Sobrang. Teen oh, Wolf. I did not watch Teen Wolf. Sobrang weird ito. Punang panood to, pare. Teen Wolf. 18, Teen Wolf. So, pass on that. Air Bud. I, Michael J. Fox. Air Bud. Air Bud mm. na panood ko to, bro. Hindi mo na panood to? Hindi bro, yung asa na nagbabasketball? Hindi. Bro, na panood ko to. Bata pa tayo nito. 90s ulit to. Um, Airbud. Oh, parang aso siya na na-realize no amo niya na nakakashoot siya ng bola. I actually forgot. Naglalaro yung aso ng basketball. Oh, parang like ginagano niya yung bola sa ilong niya tapos nakashoot. <laughs> Seryoso. I, I'm not really like naparood ko to but like you know medyo ano na yung memory ko but this was a nice movie. Aso. Alright. 16 Basketball Diaries. Wow, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio Basketball wow. Diaries people. I haven't watched this. Pero mukhang old school eh. Sobra, mukha. Ah, mo sobrang this. bata ni Leo dito. Uh, so <laughs> I don't payat. know this. The Basketball Diaries. Okay, I don't know this. Next. Right. Sunset Park. Dirin. Dirin. Ang dami pa lang basketball. Dami movies. bro na hindi ko. Ito ay sunod High Flying Bird. I also don't know this. High Flying Bird. Wow. Not meron the best ano, title choice, but... <laughs> na, may Netflix to? High Flying Ayan, Bird? Meron. Oh, Netflix daw. Ayaw nga, no? Netflix, High Flying Bird. Sige nga, tingin right. ko tumamaya. <laughs> Next is Fast Break. Again, old school. So old not, school to. Uh, rebound, The Legend of Earl the Goat. Oh, this looks like a docu. Pero mukhang matagal na rin to eh. Oo. Oh. Earl... Above the Rim. Ah, brother. wait lang. Sige, sige. Si Earl Manny Gold, I think I've heard of this guy. I Baka think ano to, I... pare? Panalay. <laughs> Ligang oh, labas. Panal- panalay legend siguro. Ligang to. labas to, no? <laughs> Ligang labas. So, rebound. The legend of Earl the Goat. Above the rim, pare. Parang nakikita ko. Pa this napapan- is very familiar. Hindi pa napapanood. Tupac? Oo nga, no? Oo. Above the rim, guys. Tupac siya, kuro nga. Pa. Yun natin yung kalaban. Drug oh. dealer si Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number 10, Space Jam. Oh yeah, I mean, Even, who hasn't watched Space Jam? The first Space the first Jam, day. the OG Space you know, Jam. The funniest thing is, I haven't watched the second one. Have Ako rin. Hindi mo naparad yung Lebron? Hindi. Parang, ikon na pa Parang feel ko kasi, ang corny. <laughs> masyadong... Sorry ah, sa totoo Sorry. lang. Parang feel ko masyadong pilit yung kay Lebron eh. I mean, ako okay, I haven't watched it, but... The, the fact that I don't want to watch it. It's crazy. I mean, because, I really have the need to watch it. But it's crazy because the, the hype was real. It was. I mean, The hype was crazy. Lebron. I'm not saying the hype was real. The hype was crazy. And then when it finally came out, parang hindi ko rin hinanapan ng oras panuorin yung pangalawa. Oh, diba? I don't know. Maybe people, I don't know. A lot of people don't like it. But, ang nangyayari kasi kinumpare. Eh. Yun niya eh. And Naging toxic it, eh. Oh, you know, it will always it will always go back to the goat to, um, oh, to, eh. to the goat um discussion. Uh, oh, laging Lebron, goat uh, na lang lagi. Yung parang ay ginagaya ni ni LeBron si MJ. I mean, it's toxic as hell. I don't like the toxicity surrounding it because <laughs> LeBron is just doing his own thing. Kung kinuha siya ng Space Jam para gumawa ng sequel, 
hindi na niya kasalanan yun. Hindi niya iniisip oh. na gusto kong talunin si Michael Jordan. Of course not. So, um, I haven't really watched it. But Space Jam 1, obviously, guys, siguro naman napanood din yung lahat yung Space Jam 1. Space one. Jam 1. And this Tapos, was the time that that he was... um nagpapakondisyon siya kasi babalik na siya. siya. O, oh, ito yung naglalaro siya ng pick-up dun sa shooting nila with Sina Reggie Miller. Ng, oh. Nagpagawa siya ng court, court dun. Sina sa... Reggie Miller, kalaban oh. niya dun, di ba? So, this was a big movie. Obviously. And, I don't know, I like this. I like this movie. Tapos, meron pa ako sa PS1. May PS1 ka ba dati? Oo, oh, pare. Yung may Space Jam game, 3 on 3. Tumuntawa <laughs> ako dun, bro. Monsters. <laughs> Tapos game. yung, ano, Sina Tasmanian Devil. Sobrang solid. <laughs> so, Space Jam, obviously, One of the best. I think one of the best. It's number 10 on the list. I yeah, think it's only number 10 kasi ang daming hindi ko alam. But it's definitely top 5 for me. Oh yeah. Top 5 for me. Hindi ko lang napanood kasi yung iba. Like itong number 9. Cornbread Earl and Me. I don't know this. Hindi ko rin alam to. <laughs> ang dami. Ang dami. <laughs> number 8. Finding Forrester. This is Which familiar. You, Ay wait lang. Y- yung bida sa Coach Carter eh. Oo oh, nga eh. Sino ano ito eh? Oh, uh, oh I forget kung sino siya. Car. Finding yeah, Forrester, tam- guys. I don't know what Forrester. Si- Sean Connery. Oh, Interesting. Know. This one though, brother. Number seven. Uncut Gems. Uncut I haven't gems. watched this, big, but the hype surrounding this was was big. Ito up. ba yung betting? KKG. Gambling. Huh? Gambling oh, to, oh. di ba? Oh, oh. So, oh. Uncut Gems. Si Adam Sandler, obviously. I don't know why I haven't watched this. I'm going to watch this later. Oh nga, eh, parang gusto ko siya panoorin talaga. Babe, we're watching this later. <laughs> Uncut Gems is a basketball movie. Although it's about gambling, pero na doon si Kevin Garnett. Tsaka Kevin Adam Garnett. Sandler naman, bro. Matik naman maganda to eh. I don't know why I haven't watched this. It's always interesting to see Adam Sandler not play, not be in a comedy movie. Oh nga eh. So, I don't know why And I still do a good this. job. Why haven't we watched this, bro? Uncut Gems, guys. It's on Amazon and iTunes um, based on... Ano. But I think yeah. we need to watch this, bro. Yeah. Okay. Um, Number six, Glory wait, Road. Lang. Bago tayo lumipat sa Glory okay. Road. Since pinag-usapan na natin yung gambling and chinek ko na kasi ni Rundown ko na. Wala dito yung bago yung Bad Sport. Did you watch Bad Sport? Okay, nawala si Javi. Nawala si Javi. Na-disconnect siya. But... Bad sport, guys. Um, documentary siya. So, it's obviously, it's about... Ay, ayan, nandiyan ka na. Are you back? Yeah. yeah okay, okay, back. okay. Have you watched Bad Sport? Not yet. Ay, Bad Sport. Bro, Bad ano Sport, ha? Netflix. Si Headache. Si Get Steven on, Smith. Pa. Si Steven Smith. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Biyahe, yeah. yung biyahe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biyahe yeah. siya, di ba? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, nakonect ko lang because Uncut Gems is about gambling and that was about... Bad Sport was a nice documentary. Sobra, sobra. It was a nice docu. And I love how Headache Smith, which was a PBA import at some yeah, point. Yeah, he was. In the he 90s. Was. Sobrang yeah. I love how he really opened up. Yeah. Inamin really, niya talaga. Inamin niya talaga. Lahat. Pinag-usap. Guys, like, if you haven't watched it, it's crazy. Arizona, di ba? Arizona. Um, I yeah, I think Arizona I forget. Eh. Basta nung, it, was, it was in college that he uh, started doing it. Yung bumiyahe siya. Bro, oh, like... It started lang na parang sabi niya gagawin niya one time lang. Tapos, at saka nakakakilabot pag pinapanood mo. Oh, like, kasi ni-explain, pinapakita talaga nila yung times na kinokontrol na niya yung game. Mm-hmm. So nakakakilabot na parang wow, namiyari talaga to. In the 90s. Tapos parang sinasabi niya ata na Um, ganun siya kagaling kasi na ganun siya kagaling game. bro <laughs> walang, mag- walang walang hindi magaling na makakakontrol ng laro ang nakakakontrol mm-hmm. yung mga super galing now oh. I don't wanna be toxic about this and say like, sa Pilipinas nangyayari yan I, I don't wanna talk about that shit but yung bad sport really left a ano sa akin na parang wow like it happens <laughs> yeah diba? it happens and I'm not saying it doesn't happen here in the Philippines Nor will I talk about it, but I think ito, brother, biggest question about biyahe, biyahe. I think if they make it legal, yung betting, like the way NBA is right now, do you think it's the answer? Yeah, I think they have to change with the, they have to change with the times um, as long as they make it legal. Kasi when you make something legal, 
na babawasan yung ano eh, yung toxicity surrounding it. And mababawasan yung mga mga underground stuff. Oo. Ito oh. So parang mas, ano kasi, mas mahirap kasi pag underground. Oh, kasi mas marami mas marami kang magagawang mali. At saka pag transparent. Kunyari lang Ayun transparent. Pa. Kita mo ngayon yung Benon. Pero yeah. ganoon na yun, di ba? Yung sinasabi oh. nila yung underdog, yung dehado-lemado. Like yung ginawa natin sa Banse. Oo. Oh. Pag transparent, makikita mo talaga eh, kung mga ganun yung table eh. So, it, it, it has to be transparent and regulated. Oh, so I think it's a good way to do it. Kasi, I don't know if we can really stop this. Yeah, I mean, it's already happening without it being eh. without lang. without it being um legal. Oh, so, eh. so might as well, diba? Parang, diba? if you can't beat them, join them. Now, I'm not, hindi ko sinasabing biyahe, gambling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gambling for me could be legal. Because with gambling being legal, baka mawala din yung biyahe. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, okay. kita mo yung transparent eh. Kasi kung bumiyahe ka and transparent na nga siya, mas mahuhuli ka. Diba? Yung so, biyahe yung nagsisira sa laro eh. Oh, yung, yung gambling nandiyan na talaga eh. Uh, nandiyan like, na talaga eh. Like what we were talking about when Banse was going on. Gambling is a part of basketball. Yes. It's even a part as of kids, sports. Even as general. kids. Oh, like, nung naglalaro tayo sa labas, yung mga pustahan, kahit sotan yan, pustahan yung sotan. ba? Diba? So, I think gambling is will always be a part of it. Yung biyahe yung nakasira. So, yeah. oh, baka nga pag naging transparent, mabag. I mean, we're not sure yet, but it could be a good... Kumbaga, subukan lang. Tingnan natin. Yeah, you know, I mean, the NBA is already doing it, so... NBA, grabe nga yung NBA, bro. Tsaka grabe, meron grabe, yung talag- gambling yung parang... Meron talaga silang ano eh, they... Um, Bina broadcast talaga nila yun eh, oh. yung over under ganyan. Saka, they have they have special shows for it. Actually. Yeah, and sinasabi na nila on air eh. Yeah. Yun Tapos yun meron it's Instagram. Part of the I don't know if you follow that. BR betting, nakakatuwa pare. BR A betting. report. Oh, BR betting, bro, nakakatuwa. May page kasi. sila na pang betting lang. Oh, tsaka bro, pinapakita nila yung mga bet. Meron bet na parang sino unang makaka shoot. <laughs> Legit, kunyari, lalaro yung, let's say, yung Lakers. Like, bebet mo sino yung unang makakashoot. So, tapos may nakita ako parlay, pare, $10 lang binayaran niya. Parlay. Parlay, di ba? Tama ba? Parlay? Mm-hmm. O, oh, tama, parlay. Okay. So, six games, binet niya, sino yung unang makakashoot. Na perfect niya, pare, yung $10 <laughs> niya naging parang $10,000. $20,000. Pero six, six straight eh. Puta na parlay niya. So, I don't know. Yun lang. Nakikita ko kasi, nakikita natin kasi legal na sa NBA. Eh. Or not even NBA. NFA. Lahat eh. So, baka lang. Baka. But, you know. Ang we'll hirap see, din we'll masabi. Ang, oh dami kasi nga na dito sa Pilipinas eh. <laughs> Daming pagdadaanan. Oh, oh, mahirap eh. But yeah. Yung uncut gems lang. Na ano ko lang. And also, yung bad sports. Panorin nyo guys. Sobrang ganda. Mm-hmm. All right. Glory Road. Yung Ito, daddy ko this. yung daddy ko yung ano dito eh. Daddy ko yung pinipilit akong panoorin to but I don't think I've watched it. Napanood mo na. Bro, dito? watch it. I love this movie. Maganda, Sobrang bro. ganda. It's it's a it's a it's a real it's a it's a real life ano eh, story. Ah, this was yung mga black. Yeah. Discrimination to. Oh, uh, sa so Texas Western. Okay. Well, um the Don Haskins, the coach, um parang broke the norm. He got black players to play for him because eventually they won the championship. Black players. Ah, okay. So, syempre, dahil black yung mga kinuha niya, it was frowned upon during that time. Uh-huh. Yeah, kasi he's, in his starting five, lahat puro black players. And bawal actually, yun dati, no? Oh, hindi naman siya bawal, Pero but like, like, that wasn't so, the norm. Oh, oh pare. So, 1960s black, uh, to eh. 1960s. Oh. Okay, so Glory Road. It, yeah. I think this is top five in a lot of people's list. Sa akin, hindi ko lang kasi napapanood pa. But I'll try to find the time to watch this. Wow, nice. Number five. Nice. A lot also, of it's pe- also a feel-good movie. Oh yeah, for sure. Number five, bro. A lot of people put this in their number five. Matic. In their top five. Coach Carter. This might even be my top one. <laughs> Coach Carter, no? Pare, sobrang solid. Ang... Hindi ako nagsasawang panoorin to. Oo, oh, magaling kasi tal- Samuel L. Jackson kasi yan, eh, bro. Eh. Oh. Coach Carter, and at saka ang daming iconic ano dito, moments like yes. yung speech ni Timo Cruz. Yes. 
<laughs> Bro, yung three points lang ni Timo Cruz sa fast break eh. I think Timo Cruz was the most iconic character here. He was, he was. Kasi, Kasi yung character problem. development niya eh. Oh, eh, naging gangster, gangster, naging maayos na student, di ba? <laughs> so, a lot of things. Tapos si ano pa? Si Worm. Si Worm, yeah. Si Worm. Si yung anak niya. Di ba? Na naging magaling na point guard. Si Channing Tatum. Channing Pare, Tatum was Channing, here. Chat- this was, this I was think, before, first... before, before siya nag ano. Before siya sumikat. Bro, like oh, before ma- siya sumikat. Before uh, siya Magic sumikat. Mike. Like Mike Tulay. Magic, Magic Mike. Mike. Bago siya naging sexiest. Man, oh. <laughs> uh, sexiest man in the world yan, di ba? Uh, he, this was when he first burst into the scene. I think, yeah. I believe. Yeah. At least for me. So, Coach Carter, I think, arguably your top one. Yeah, for arguably. me. Yeah, top one. Coach Carter. Maganda yung Coach Carter. Hoosiers. Hindi watched... ko napapanood. Pero a lot of people have been saying na maganda nga daw. Ikaw alam ba hindi ko pa napapanood itong Hoosiers? Tsaka si Katoy, Hoosiers. Like, Oo nga eh. The term When you say Hoosiers. basketball movies, pala, parating kasama sa usapan ito eh. Wow. Pasensya na sa mga na- nakikinig ngayon at nawi-weirdoon sa akin. Paano na hindi nila panood yung Hoosiers? Hindi pa namin napapanood itong Hoosiers. Pero old movie na rin ito eh. Old movie, yeah. He got game! He got game! Hindi oh, ko alam kung bakit hindi oh ko ito napapanood. Oh my God! Bro, hindi <laughs> ko pa napapanood ito si ano, Ray Allen. Oh, Jesus Bro. Shuttleworth. <laughs> Bro, yung kinalaban ni daddy niya, puti, sobrang solid dito ni ano. I have to watch oh, this. Oh, Ray Allen, Jesus. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington with the afro. Bro, you gotta watch this. He got game. I'm, nice. I'm gonna watch this. Uh, and, magkaganda dito, this was supposed, there was a rumor, I believe, ah, Correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a rumor that this was supposed to be Kobe. Really? Uh, kasi ito yung time na pareho sila magpapadraft eh. Oo. Mga 96 to eh. O, ganun. 96, Either yeah. nagpadraft na sila or magpapadraft pa lang sila. But Ray Allen was a great, well, had I heard. like a great acting career. Ito na ata yung acting <laughs> career niya But ang ganda nung acting dito ni Ray Allen and of course Denzel Washington. Parang daddy niya na hindi niya nakasama buong growing up years niya eh. Kasi nasa ano ata? Nasa ano? Uh, kulungan. Sa prison. Mm, okay. Andito okay. pala si LaVar Ball? Hindi, hindi, hindi. Parang LaVar Ball yung ano. Ah, uh, showing glimpses so, of LaVar Ball. Okay. Parang LaVar Ball yung peg. Kasi daddy. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. This, is, uh, La- this is my top one. I haven't watched this shit. Love and basketball, bro. Bro, you... <laughs> bro, love and basketball is my... Top one. <laughs> and I know, and I know so, why I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> people will look into this, di ba? But Love and Basketball was my top one talaga. Sobrang, ako kasi pare, honestly, as, di ba, medyo siga tayo, basketball, dami tattoo, di ba? Cool. Ano talaga ako, bro? Suffer ako ng mga pakilig na movies, eh. Ako sa tatalang guilty pleasure ko yan, eh. Pare, guilty. Like, <laughs> Kunyari, Kaya na yung mga Pinoy movies. Oo, oh, bro. Like, <laughs> Pinoy, Pinoy movies. Ako solid ako sa Pinoy movies. Lahat ng Pinoy movies na pinapanood ko lahat yan. And, Basta John Lloyd, gano'n. Oo, oh, John Lloyd, Katrin, Katniel, ganyan, oh. pinapanood ko yan. Tapos, um, ako yung type na paggabi, like, kunyari gabi, relax ka na, ayaw muna ng movie na nakaka-stress, ayaw muna ng oh. movie na mabigat. So, hahanap ka ng, gusto mo lang kiligin. So, guilty, guilty ako sa ganyan eh. So, Love and basketball man. Pinagsama kasi. May kilig oh. tapos nagba-basketball pa sila. Yun nga eh. 'Di ba? Sa lahat ng sa, maglalagay and... ng meaning, kunya ka kay lahat. <laughs> kay lahat. <laughs> kasi bro. Hirap naman eh. Ang hirap naman pag-usapan yung movie na 'to nang walang walang maglalagay ng kulay. Eh. Hindi na ako hihirit eh, putik. Pero si Ray. Eh. Ang hirap eh. Pero maganda talaga yung movie na to, bro. Maganda talaga. Maganda daw talaga. I'm gonna watch it so so. Eh. Love and basketball. Buti na lang. Okay, buti Mikey na lang. Mikey Reyes has experienced this at some point in this oh, story. Oh, tsaka buti na lang. <laughs> hindi toxic sa akin to because sa lahat ng past ko, yun lang ang tinatanggap ni CK. So, wala, wala. Wala kaming masamang masasabi. So, hindi toxic tong topic na to pag pinag-usapan na. But Love and Basketball, guys, is a great movie. Sobrang ganda ng movie na to. Number one ko to. White men right. can't jump kasi. It's a... Kapalabi it's a, na ba to? Oo oh, naman. Hindi mo pa napapanood to. Hindi pa. Par, marami, marami ako hindi napanood dito. Mag Glory Road lang, tsaka Space Jam, tsaka... Bro, white men uh, can't Coach jump. Carter na napanood ko dito sa listahan. Itong White men can't jump. Hustler sila, bro. 
umiikot sila sa mga court. Mga para street mag, bowlers. Para mag two on two. Oo. Tapos, wala. Kumikita sila kung saan-saan. Tapos sumali sila sa isang tournament ata na two on two. I think with white men can't jump, yung iconic dito, yung mga forma nila. Mm, okay. Yun yung mas magsistick sa'yo hanggang ngayon. Street ball kasi ito eh. So yung forma ni Woody Harrelson, Wesley Snipes, nagkampi kasi sila puti tsaka itim eh. Tapos, sa street ball naman, dito at least, yung puti naman yung discriminated. Ah, kasi usually kasi ang iniisip sa, magaling. Sa street scene. Oo oh, eh. Usually magaling yung mga black eh. Oh. ba? Diba? So nung dumating itong si Woody Harrelson, na by the way ngayon became one of the most successful actors ever, ito yung mga una pa lang eh. Magaling pala siya. So it was hard for him to get accepted kasi kada dumarating siya, walang pumipili sa kanya. Kasi puti eh. Oh. ba? Diba? Ang ganda nito, maganda to. But I think yun nga, yung culture impact, cultural impact nito is yung forma. But why why do you pick uh, love and basketball over white men can't jump? Wala, kilig-kilig ako din. <laughs> kilig factor. <laughs> kilig factor doon eh. Lalo na nung nagwana naman sila. Nagwana oh. naman uh, sila, bro. Throwback ba, Mikey? Oo, oh, pare. One on one sila. One on one. Tapos, for what? For your heart. So, may ganun pa din eh. Ah. Ang puto yung one on one nila eh. Damn, that's Wendell. a story. Bro, you gotta watch Love and Basketball, bro. That's the perfect love story Baka for me. Baka umahanap ka gonna... ng ano bigla <laughs> dyan, bro. Umahanap ka ng jowa bigla pag napanood mo yung Love and Basketball. <laughs> Pero yung white men can't jump. More of ano kasi to eh. Mas seryosong basketball movie to eh. Yung Love and Basketball, ano eh. Love story eh. So, oh, feel good. Okay, top five mo. Na napanood Wala. mo, sige. Kahit... Uh, let's respeto tayo. Hindi pa napapanood ni Javi yung Love and Basketball oh. tsaka White Man Ketchup. So yung napanood mo na? It, ako tatlo lang talaga napanood ko dito. So it's um, number three would be Space Jam, number Space two Jam. Glory Road, and number one Coach Carter. Coach Carter. No? Yeah. Kasi yung Space Jam parang mahigat oh, din. Hindi mo rin pala napanood. No? Hindi. Okay, oh, may assignment si Javi. Papanoodin ko to guys. Huwag kayo mag-alala. Panoonood ko. gagawin ko today. Kailangan maka isa ka per day. Okay. <laughs> Sige. Um, Sayo, Mike. Top 5 ko. Ah, shit. Guys, don't judge me. Pero yung like Mike talaga tonto ako ng bat. Alam mo ko nung hindi wala dito, 6th ano? man. Ano lang nga ulit yun? 6th man yung namatay yung kapatid niya. Dalawa sila, magkapatid sila. Pareho sila magaling. Tapos, mas magaling actually yung kuya. Tapos, namatay yung kuya niya na heart attack. As in, sa game, dumunk siya. Bigla siyang na heart attack, nahulog siya, namatay Ooh. siya. And then, si ano to bro, si Marlon Wayans to. Oh, okay, okay. Tapos, yung kapatid niya na iwan, yung team nila, syempre, yun yung star nila namatay. As in, literal namatay yung star nila. Tinulungan sila nung namatay. As in, Ooh. hinahunt niya yung games. Tinutulungan Wild. niya, pinam- makashoot. Minsan po, ta- comedy yan, comedy yan. As in, umupo siya dun sa ring ng kalaban. Tapos kada tumitira, parang lumalabas sila yung bola kasi nakaupo doon yung multo. Tapos ginaganon lang niya yung bola, ginaganon lang niya kada may tumitira. So, Six Man isn't here, but I love that movie. I remember naglaro ko NBA, mga NBA live dati, kinreate ko pa yung buong team ng Six Man. You gotta watch Six Man, bro. I don't know how, where wow, you're NBA live. that. Oh, NBA live 90-something yun eh. So, Sixth Man for me is part of my top five. You gotta watch that, brother. So, Sixth Man, not in order, ah. Sixth Man, Love and Basketball, White Men Can't Jump. Um, like Mike and Coach Carter. Mm, okay. So you Ay, got... Ang, ang wala rin dito ng mga comedy, semi-pro. Semi-pro. Rebound. Si semi-pro semi-pro si ano, di ba? Si... Si... Ano? Uh, si yung ginagaya ni Clay Thompson. Oo, oh, si... Sino nga ba? Yung comedy. Yung comedy. Oh, comedy Asa, to. Oh, comedy siya. Comedy siya. Semi-pro. Tama, tama. I haven't watched that. Si ano, Will Ferrell. Si, Will Ferrell. Ano yung Thunder din? Thunder? Chocolate? I forget. Chocolate Thunder. Kumaalali. Pero sige. Yun yung top five. Yung Uncut Gems, I really need to watch this. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. Okay, ano ano mo? Anong assignment mo? Today. Today. We, we gotta watch at least one today. I gotta watch. Today, it. Uncut Gems. Sige, mag-uncut gems. Uncut gems. Okay, we're watching Uncut Gems today. I don't know how we're gonna download this, but we'll download it somewhere. We're watching Uncut Gems to- today. Wala na then, to sa Netflix eh. 
Dati nasa Netflix to. Oo, oh, nasa Netflix to dati. Di ko so, alam ba't hindi ko pinapanood. Lagi, nakiki- Lagi nasa feature din. So, panoorin natin yung Uncut Gems. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Uncut yep. Gems. Diba? So, yun. We're trying to, you know, palawakin yung podcast muna. Especially now na walang update. So, there you have it. We talked about the best or our best basketball movies of all time. And we'll try to catch up dun sa mga hindi pa namin napapanood. So, hopefully yes, everyone... Um, We'll start the, ano, kasi sa mga nakikinig dito, hopefully you can start the thread sa community. Then we'll see. Ang ano yung mga... I think oh. meron na before eh, pero hindi lang masyado na pag, um, ako. Oh, and then you can give us your top five. Yeah. And you can give us your top five and then we'll see. Basta we'll try to watch as, as as much as we can in the coming days, coming weeks, especially as a bahay lang naman kami. Yan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there you have it, man. We talked about something other than hooping. But it's still hooping. Connected pa din naman yan. Alright? We'll talk about the other one tomorrow. Kasi, ano na eh, medyo mahaba na rin naman. I wanted to talk about motorcycles. Eh. Kasi medyo na-inlove <laughs> din ako ngayon. And PBA a lot, Motor Club. Oh, PBA Motor Club. And a lot of basketball players have really fallen in love with ba- motorcycles. And I had a face and I'm really bumapalik ako ngayon. And you're that oh, face. Eh, parang gusto ko bumalik eh. Pero I wanted to talk about motorcycles and the cultural impact that it has. It's had especially with basketball players. Pero, you know, we'll talk about that some other time. And then we'll have guests. Tomorrow, brother, we're gonna have Tonino Gonzaga. Oh! Solid, solid. The face of the PBA 3X3. Yes, sir! We'll tomorrow, Tonino exciting Gonzaga. Exciting yan, exciting yan. Um, exciting yan. We'll talk about the 3X3 and what he thinks is the potential of 3X3. And, you know, just catch up with Tonino then and what his Super plans, nice guy. What his plans are in the near future. Um, and then on Wednesday, we have Okay, these guys, ito yung mga as of now. Ah. Alam naman natin, busy ang mga yan. Hindi natin alam kung biglang mag-cancel. But as of now, Tonino Gonzaga tomorrow and Encho Serrano on oh. Wednesday. Alright, we'll talk to those guys solid, solid. in the coming days. But I had fun with this topic din. Medyo, yes, sir. Ano, reminisce din ako. Hopefully, we can oh. continue to talk about this in the community. So keep it coming. Please, if you're listening on Spotify, or you're watching on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, hit the link in the description and please join the community on Facebook. All right, brother? All right. First day of the week. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, brother. The name is Mike Reyes. <laughs> this has been Avi Palanya. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Peace and love. I'll see you all tomorrow with Tonino Gonzaga. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, keep him coming sa community. <laughs>